I... I can't believe it. I... I never... Thank you. I can't believe you came back for us. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just amazing. We don't have a lot of time. Washington, Torres, and Jones will escort you back to our vehicles where you can get medical attention and wait for evac. Hey, you're not resistance. Who are you? They can fill you in later. Right now, I need to figure out how to get inside that building. You have any ideas? The service tunnels. They're tight, but they'll take us there. Us? I'm going with you, Connor. The least I can do after everything you've done. I can't ask you to do that. You're not. Let's go. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Get those guys back to the trucks, and be careful. We'll have to split up. Barnes, you and Weston flank from the right. Me and Blair will come around from the left. Stick to cover and move fast. You ready? Yes, sir! Hell yeah! Let's do it! I think I see an endo. Be careful. Barnes! Watch out for David! We'll have to split up. Barnes, you and Weston flank from the right. Me and Blair will come around from the left. Stick to cover and move fast. You ready? Yes, sir! Hell yeah! Let's do it! T-600, get ready! Barnes! Watch out for David!
this stuff starts to look the same. Cover, Chief. This is John Connor calling Resistance HQ. Do you copy? We hear you, Connor. Go ahead. I'm going to bring the turrets offline. Give us five minutes or so to get out of here, then blanket the place. Choppers coming in to evacuate boys. Where should I have them be? There's some wounded men by the outer wall. Get them out first. Copy that. You almost done in there? Yeah. The program just needs to run for a few minutes. Then help us fight off these machines! Yeah, the program just needs to run for a few minutes. Then help us fight off these machines!
rigged the system to send out an EMP. Forced a shutdown. They'll reboot in a few minutes, so we better get out of here. Okay. Follow me. So surreal. This is John Connor to all available resistance pilots. Commence your bombing run. Asking why we did it. We sacrificed so much for just three men. But it wasn't about the numbers. It was about the message. It was about principle. I think in time they'll understand. I think deep down they already do. It was just a small victory that day, but already things are different. All around me, I see change. I used to think of the world the way it used to be, and try to find strength in those old memories. But now I think of the future instead, of the world we're going to create. And it gives me faith.